Welcome back. Today in the hot seat, we're looking at the incredibly versatile infrared XH09 thermal camera plus nighttime vision. Ooh, this is going to be cool. Big shout out to infrared slash infrared. Thanks so much for sending it in for this review. Give you a scale for size, this is how small this little camera is. Right up against a AA battery, and the battery is absolutely dwarfing the camera. Nuts. Tiny is an understatement, but boy, do you get a big package with this camera. Look at all the stuff you're getting. This kit includes the tripod slash handheld. Let's call it a doohickey. You know, it's to hold this. I'm going to show you what it's for. Don't worry about it. You get a tiny little carrying case strap, your USB-C cable, another bracket for your cell phone, and of course, your XH09 camera. All comes packaged in a pretty svelte looking box with infrared logo. I really like the fact they've given you two carrying cases, a big one to put all your gear in and a small one because maybe you just want to take the one tiny one with you because it's such a small camera and you can. You don't have to take the whole kit and caboodle if you don't want to. Thank you, infrared. Quality is top notch here. This bracket, for instance, a solid metal with chrome uh, brushed handles. I mean, this thing is just gorgeous in the hand and it's heavy, it's heavy. It's not a cheap piece of plastic. No, no, no. And this tripod is very, very cool as well. Those feet spread out nice and even on that table. And you've got that really nice grip here so you can hold it and shoot your images at the same time. Very cool. The main case as well has that nice molded inlay form factor fit it for all of those accessories version i'm looking at today is for the android and included is the software installation just basically a, a tiny piece of paper tells you where to find that thermal ix app on google play we also get that lens cap as well to go on top of the thermal ix keeping it protected at all times full high definition 50 hertz you can see two to 15 times zoom hotspot tracking scan before shooting search after shooting i mean it's just like sky is the limit with this little guy usb-c connector once again this is a solid piece of craftsmanship there's our infrared logo again just a really really sweet test instrument also with this camera you have a focuser so just like a regular 35 millimeter camera digital camera look at that you can focus as well focusing ring to get your subject crisp and clear nice and sharp smooth smooth so the xh09 mounts into that tripod adapter just like so and with it this is the part that you'll connect to your phone and obviously here is the camera itself now this can swing back and forth as well depending on what you want to look at or do so it's very uh, maneuverable in that sense and here of course is the other side and this is where your phone goes so you can see once the telephone is into the cradle itself uh, that stationary doesn't move however the camera itself can move about 90 degrees up or down so camera's not stationary although the phone is you can just see how comfortable that grip is i mean it's designed to be held you know it doesn't matter what direction uh this direction the other direction uh, i find both ways it just feels really good in the hand to tighten onto the base simply use this flywheel here left or right depending if you want to get it in nice and snug or remove it entirely and you can see as soon as you start it you get that awesome intro just letting you know that your phone is plugged in it's initializing that front end software and away you go once you're in the main display look at that nice bold contrasty uh here are all of the parameters for you to take a picture simply hit the shutter button to get that nice screen effect you have multiple options here depending on what you want to look at to get that uh 
reticule in the middle. If you're out and about looking for game, there's the pointer. And as well, we can change the color views, whether we want our classic thermostyle look or something a little more non-traditional. We have a lot of options here with the pull-down menus. Speaking of menus, here we are right now in the main settings menu where you can adjust your temperature display. You can, of course, change from Celsius to Fahrenheit to Kelvin, whatever you desire. Plenty of settings here. I'm not going to go through much uh, in this tutorial, but boy, oh boy, the sky is basically the limit. You can even insert a watermark. Go figure. Now, one of the nice things about this is the fact that you have a really clear crisp display. I mean, look at that. Incredible. You do have the option to adjust it. So if things are a little out of focus, as you can see, just a simple turn of that lens and it brings everything into crisp, clear focus. Gotta love it. Once again, we're looking at the different imaging displays. Mileage may vary. I prefer the typical thermal imaging display that I'm sort of used to at this point. As well, If you want, you can go into your photo album. This is where your pictures and videos will be saved. It's basically your online repository. Everything is stored on the camera itself. There's nothing in the cloud, just so you know. You can take a video really simply by pressing that video button and look at that, it is automatically saved. Same thing with a picture. One push of the button of the camera and... So me and my beautiful wife, we took a walk in the forest with our dog, Hugo. There's Hugo. There's Alenka, and uh, it's on the cusp of a forest, a protected forest known as a green belt. And I'm going to soon switch to a nighttime mode with reticle. Okay, here we are in Finley Creek, and it is dark late at night. This is a protected part of the green belt. Doesn't look so green right now, does it? Kind of creepy, actually. I know. There are coyotes in this deep, dark forest as well. So, uh, kind of feel a little bit better having a thermal cam where you can see that heat image. And speaking of heat, heat image, there's a rock retaining the heat from the day. You get that nice red uh, display so you know when there's heat in that dark forest. All in all, very cool. And I got to say, this worked perfectly. It was around minus one degree Celsius as well. So a little below the uh, recommended operating temperature. Closing thoughts on the infrared. Thermal X XH09. Thermal imaging camera. Oh, yes. End of the day, this is a fun thermal camera. Yes, it, not only fun, if you want to take that smooth 50 hertz picture uh, and video, it will do the job stupendously. Another great feature is the fact that it's extremely user-friendly with that focusing ring for manual control that looks great, especially when you get up and close. We had this out and about last night when it was really cold, uh, probably about minus one or so Celsius, and still it performed without any issues. Of course, there's always a couple of caveats. In this case, the temperature accuracy requires about a minute or so to stabilize uh, before it gets to be where it should be. Also, I find that around the 30, 35 frame per second mark, uh, this is usually cut in half uh, when the temperature spectrum is invoked. So yeah, that being said, end of the day though, still a keeper. Though it's really hard to go along with this 12 micron sensor that offers incredible detail. And let's not forget the two to 15 times zoom. Whoa. Plus that 50 Hertz guarantees that vibrant thermal image you've only dreamt of. Yeah, you get a lot here and a very small capable package. The X2 XH09 gets a solid four out of five stars. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.